It's just like a fucking immersive feeling. Like to be back here is quite hard. I've been running away from this place for like 20 years. My like gut instinct is to get the fuck out of here. So to stay in that feeling, sober, with absolutely nothing to kind of like numb it. I could come here before, but I would just get fucked up. Like I'd had to, you know, I couldn't face this feeling. I've always had a need to express myself visually, like, even since a kid. Since the last 15 months being sober and doing this full time, not having another job, it's been everything to me. It's so rewarding to like see your ideas come out, to be surrounded by them. If I don't overthink life, I'm the happiest at like seven, eight in the evening in here, listening to music. My mum's safe, my sister's safe, I've chatted to them on the phone and I'm just painting. I really do have moments of happiness and proper peace and that is through making stuff. My anxiety is like, it's a fear that is so dark and it comes from somewhere really deep down and it's a feeling I've had since I was like two, three years old, like I can trace it back that far. It was never fun to be in this house if my dad was here, do you know what I mean? It was just not. I was inflicted with emotional things that I couldn't manage as a really young kid. It manifested in like night terrors and just fucking terror that my mum was in danger. I started smoking weed at like 11, 12, and by 13, quite regularly, 14, even more. And then that subdued that feeling for me. As a late teen, I was just out there with that kind of macho teenage bravado that kept that feeling like I never felt it. At 22, that feeling came back like a ton of bricks and I hadn't felt it for like 10 years. I woke up and I was like completely like covered in fear, blanketed in it. And I called my mum and I was like, that feeling is back. I thought it had gone. Came back here, went to the hospital, and they were like, you're having like a severe anxiety episode. They gave me citalopram, which is an antidepressant, and they gave me a Valium prescription, six milligrams a day. They gave me a drug that was made for me. It was designed for someone who suffered from my emotions as bad as I did. So I took it and I was like, oh my God, this is the answer. The doctors gave it to me, so what the fuck did I know? And by the end I was doing like 150 milligrams a day, like 15 blue tablets at points. Like at my worst, like I would do that. It all came from this thing. So then like when I got clean, I was hit with it again. That's why now I have to be in therapy. I have to take things super slow because that feeling can come at any given moment. That's mental health. That is mental health. I wish a lot of stuff happened in different times, but with this, I don't actually question it. Me making art now is the one thing that I don't question that's happening at a time when it's meant to be happening. This last year, I've done everything I can. When I do this show, like, I've put my all in. I didn't really let a minute go by where I didn't try and like, better myself. I just followed my instinct. For a long time, I wished that I could make a lot of work or go into being an artist, but I couldn't because it wasn't the right time. I'm just like really happy that for a year at least I've been able to like solidly make work that's made me feel better and I'm going to get to show it. All I'm trying to ever do is communicate the shit that's in my head. It turned out to be these and these are essentially pictures of the cemeteries. They're psychedelic Icelandic landscapes. I used to always think of myself as a creative person because I went out and did graph here and there. But like, majority of my spare time is drinking, doing drugs and talking absolute shit. Internalising a narrative. That's a lot of my free time. Or suffering the after effects of doing that. So like the reward of just full time nurturing this creative output is just definitely like doing something for my soul that I wasn't getting before. I'm starting to get calmer. I feel like calmer in myself and I just feel like I don't need to be like right in the mix anymore. It's all part of like always searching. I've always been looking for something to make me feel like complete a place or a thing or an experience. Something that would just like one day I'd be like, oh, I'm here, like, I've arrived. That never happened. The craziest thing is that's how I feel now. Coming back, getting clean, finally it kind of clicked a little bit. I do feel like where I'm meant to be and I never really felt like that.